Hi friends, today we are going to see about H-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. My name is Navin Samuel J and I am a student of VIT University. This is my digital assignment 3 for the subject materials characterization technique under the faculty Dr. Prathiba Nalini R. So we will see about what is HPS. H-ray photoelectron spectroscopy also known as the electron spectroscopy is used for the chemical analysis and is a widely used technique to investigate the chemical composition of surfaces. So in the H-ray photoelectron spectroscopy as the name suggests we are going to uh, pass the H-ray beam and the electrons are extracted only from a narrow solid angle. So the photoelectron process takes place where the HPS spectral lines are identified by the shell from which the electrons was ejected. And the ejected photon has kinetic energy K is equal to HP minus BE minus 5. So the auxiliary relation of core pole. So the L electron falls to fill core uh, level vacancy 1. And the kinetic energy of the emitted auxiliary electron is K is equal to E of K minus E of L2 minus E of L3. So the HPS energy scale, the energy so the HPS instrument measures the kinetic energy of all the cathode electrons. The electron signal includes contribution from both photoelectrons. Uh, HPS energy scale, in this, in this we you know, now study about kinetic energy. K is equal to HP minus BE minus phi spec, where the phi spec is the spectrometer work function. So now the HPS energy scale, the binding energy, uh, is same energy is also uh, uh, both uh, kinetic energy and binding energy have the same and the B is equal to HP minus KE minus phi spec where the terms of PE and KE are interchanged. So uh, now let us see about the Fermi level referencing. So the Fermi level of the free electrons, uh, those giving energy to conductivity find an equal potential which is constant throughout the material. So the Fermi level referencing is given. Sample of spectrum energy level diagram conducting sample. It's an example of conducting sample. Now this this diagram is an example of insulating sample. So binding energy referencing. So the total binding energy is HP minus KE minus phi sig minus E sig H. A new term E sig can be determined by electrically calibrated instrument to a spectral feature. So where do the binding energy shift come from? From the electron and the nucleon. So look for changes here by observing electron and binding energies. So the elemental shifts are given in this slide. The elemental shift example uh, of a binding energy and uh, of uh, different compounds like copper, nickel uh, are given. So the binding energy determination, the photoelectron binding energy will be based on the element's final state configuration, initial and final state. The sudden approxima approximation, Koopman's binding energy, E of BK is approximately equal to minus of sigma of B comma K. So binding energy shift, chemical shift, point charge model, this argument. Chemical shift, electronegativity effects, oxygen atom, the variance level, core level and carbon nucleus. C1S binding energy shift to higher binding energy. Chemical shift, electronegativity effects, electronic effect effects, spin orbiting coupling. Electronic effect spin orbit coupling example of uh, orbital p, uh, p l is equal to 1 s is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 ls is equal to 1 by 2 comma 3 by 2 so uh, electronic effect spin orbit coupling electronic effect uh, again the f is, uh, orbital is f l is equal to 3 is another sample so the electronic effect spin orbit coupling of titanium metal and titanium oxide is given the final stake effects shape up shape off so now i think nickel metal and nickel oxide the final state efforts multiple splitting. The electron scattering efforts, energy loss peaks. E of E pH plus E solid is gives E star pH plus E double star solid. Electron scattering effects plus one loss peak. The qualitative analysis of HPS for a homogeneous sample L is equal to N phi D J L lambda A T. Quality analysis of HPS N is equal to 1 by sigma D J L lambda T. Relative sensitivity is of element. HPS of copper nickel alloy, comparison of sensitivities, instrumentation of an H-ray, introduction of the H-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, instrument used by HPS is known as the UHV chamber with the monogamous uh, energies of H-rays analyzing the energies of the em emitted electron. So, this is uh, pictures of the H-ray photoelectron spectrometer. The spectrometer consists of a magic angle, uh, the orbital angular uh, symmetry factor. So electron detection of given multi-channel position sensitive detector, H-ray generation. So relative schematic of dual anode H-ray source, 
schematic of hdmi monochrome the application of hdmi you now we going to see the application of uh, the hps is analysis of carbon fiber polymer in the composite material by hps this so is the hps analysis identifies the functional groups present on composite surface chemical nature of fiber polymer interface with influence its uh, will influence its properties so this can be studied uh, and be very helpful in making the tires of the f1 racing cars the woven carbon fiber composite picture is given the analysis of materials for solar energy collection by hps depth of profiling so when uh, solar energy collection is used in making the solar panels which is uh, making which is now a very very need energy around the world and a greener fuel so the profile indicates the reduction of the sno2 occurred at the interface during the reposition such a reduction would affect the collector's efficiency so the angle resolved hps more surface sensitivity and less surface sensitivity diagrams are given so the angle resolved hps analysis of a self assembling mono layers this is also very useful and the angle resolved hps can determine overlay thickness and overlay coverage so with this we now come to an end of our short video on about hps and what are, uh, and what it uh, it uh, does and about on what are the advantages and its applications in the real li lifetime so we uh, thank you for uh, now wa for watching this video and uh, please look forward for further videos in my channel thank you